Hi guys and welcome to another video from prematchtrading.com. I'm going to show you in this video a little bit of scalping. Here we go, we're going to concentrate on the 1.5 market. We can see the difference between the uh, Betfair price and the PMT price, 1.41 and 1.43. So we're just going to set it up here and show you the um, position if we just play around with the prices. So basically we only need to get matched on one of the prices to uh, to make a small profit. And this is exactly what we do. We recycle the prices over and over and add the profits every time, which we're gonna show you in this video. So another little setup, another little example. You can see that if we get matched at both of the these prices 1.41 and 1. Point, sorry 3.35 then we have a nice profit and the what if feature on Betfair is very useful very handy to um, to add we've got the PMT prices we've got the other prices there the bookmakers we have the spread prices so let's get involved on the it's important to keep an eye on pinnacle SBO bet spreads and max bet we're going to look for the gap 1.42 you can see and instantly you can see what profits will be gained when we lay off we know that the under 1.5 is at 3.28 on PMT that's what it's saying the price should be at the moment and as long as the unders do not go back up then that price will be good the match odds and the under 2.5 are the most liquid of markets therefore they rule what the other markets do so there's a big discrepancy you can see on 1.41 and 1.45 and this is this is basically basically all we do looking for the gaps gonna get in at 1.42 therefore I'll be at the front of the queue we lay first because most traders like to back so we get matched faster we like the 1.5 and 3.5 markets because you tend to get matched quicker than the other markets and it's all about speed the more times you can get matched and recycle the same amounts of money the profits soon build up so it's just showing you what exactly can be achieved what exactly we're doing we're just getting in and nicking a tick or two every every time important to look at the match odds because if the home side Marseille drift then that's a good indication that the unders will come down they'll drop and if the unders drop then obviously the low scores drop as well and vice versa the bigger scores will drift up and out and will the overs as well so it's important to keep an eye on the match odds important to keep an eye on the under 2.5 and of course what uh, the other bookmakers are doing what Pinnacle are doing. Pinnacle are normally good two or three hours up to kickoff. Um, just try to get in a little sort of cheeky little sort of nil nil trade. PMT is saying that the prices, as you can see, was too high. So we try and sort of um, see if we can make a little bit of profit on that. Um, Pinnacle are very good for profits. Um, an hour or two before kickoff, Betfair often follow their prices. Spreads are tend to be good the evening before and in the morning of the game. SBO bet are for Asian trends, and Max bet is is another bookmaker's prices. Ideally, you need a bank of sort of sort of about five hundred pounds. You can get buy on 200, 250 pounds, but you're sort of purely just backing bets then and not, not so much laying because laying obviously takes more of a liability, more of your bank up. So we can see the prices are dropping 
the um, Pinnacle SBO bet and Max bet are dropping their unders. So that's a good sign that uh, Betfair will follow. And it's just a case of sitting in the queue. If you think the prices are going to drop further, then obviously you can move your positions down or up a tick. And we've got a little bit of, you see we back nil nil at 11s. We laid it off one tick lower. We can see the last changes at the top. So when they update, we get instant um, notification. So the nil nil is looking pretty good. There's a massive discrepancy on the over 1.5, you can see. You can also see that the nil nil on the spreads is very similar setup to the Betfair prices, aside the unders they have slightly lower. So there's every good reason that the nil nil will mirror their prices but it should be a little bit lower because the spreads have the unders at 1.73 instead of 1.77 on Betfair. So you can kind of use both of them to uh, offset each other, sort of compare prices and use it as a tool to differentiate and uh, align uh, your exact thinking if that makes sense. If Betfair and the spreads have all prices the same except say under 2.5 then obviously you would expect uh, if they're under 2.5 is, is a lot lower then you could expect the correct scores to drop a little bit on Betfair. And here we go still massive misalignment on the over 1.5 and this is all we do. We know the price is, is incorrect um, on current prices. It should be better. So we just go back in time and time again. I normally use Bet Angel Professional and have it all set up on that with the graphs. Just for ease purposes, uh, just using the Betfair page interface you can see. So we're looking for the gaps, we're looking for the uh, differences, we don't let the money go in play, always trade out. The nearer you get to kick off, you know you should really be out sort of three, four, five minutes before kick off. Never let them go in play because what will happen is there'll be a goal in the first minute and you'll lose money. Simple as that. We've all been there, we've all done it, and it's not pleasant. So our money's in the system. We're dropping it down again a little bit, dropping it to 3.15 because BMT says it should be 3.15. See if we can get a, a little cheeky profit on the nil one see what we can do on this market uh, and this is what it's all about more often than not there are plenty of opportunities per game on the PMT tool you know there really are we recommend live televised games because the liquidity is so much better. If you get games with 10,000, 15,000 pounds in it, you're going to have big gaps, you're going to have poor prices, and you'll end up taking those poor prices, getting matched, and losing money because the prices are poor and you're just getting filled before kickoff. So it's, 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 it's not ideal. So we're just going to try and come out of the nil one. Thought we'd get a tick on that, but it doesn't look the case. Now we're in the queue on both of the 1.45 and the 3.15. Looking good. 
the markets are steady um, and that's really ideally what you want you want you don't want big sort of uh, differences you don't want a huge steam or a huge um, drift you know you can see clearly that the unders have been coming down you can see that the pinnacle SBO bet max bet and spreads have been dropping their unders so all of these are good indicators that the price should come down quite often Betfair follow Pinnacle's prices Betfair as we know should always be higher being an exchange and the closer we get to kick off you know we're still trying to sort of nick a little bit on the nil one whilst trading the um, the 1.5 market as I say normally this is set up on only six minutes away from kickoff we set this up normally I've normally got this on uh, bet angels so I've got that all set up on one screen with the graphs all of the important markets the match odds 2.5 correct score 1.5 and 3.5 I have the graphs I have the ladders all set up on that and on the other page I have the PMT auto game and this does be very well some of our guys earn 500 pounds a week they've been with us a while um, some of them, some people earn 200 pounds a week some people earn 100 pounds some people break even and some people have even been known to lose you know once you know how the markets move and work in tandem then that's half the battle some of the time people give up far too easily but the patient ones the experienced ones they gain the experience they know what they're doing and they do very well from it brilliant tools won awards from one review site and we thoroughly recommend it so i hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you again soon